Paul McKinley is running for the second congressional district in Chicago, Illinois. He's in the belly of the beast. And um, what's going on with you there? We, there's so much violence in Chicago. There's so many people who won't step up to the plate, and you are. And, and what kind of, are, are, is everybody welcoming you with open arms? First of all, I'd like to say that thank you for having me on your show. It's McKinley for Congress is my website. And I'd like to say that one of the major problems that we have in Chicago is the violence. And the reason why we have the violence is the corruption in the city of Chicago. In the city of Chicago, the Democrats have ruled this seat for 50 years. They have lowered over this seat for 50 years. So you can't blame any Demo Republicans for uh, this, this, this seat. You can't blame no Tea Party. You can't even blame white folks because it's been black folks in them spots and they've been Democrats in them spots. And they've been in there, they've just been just as corrupt as anybody can be. And now that we're in this tyrannical state of of Ron Caliglis Emanuel, who has took over the machine, and this is actually the second coming of the machine in the name of Ron, and uh, now they're, they're fighting. Uh, you have King Bloomberg of New York a.k.a. frisk every black man he can see in New York, and you have Ron Caliglis Emanuel, who has the highest murder rate in the United States. 530 kids were shot, 530 people was murdered in the city of Chicago, 440 CPS students were shot, 60 students was murdered last year, and Ron Caliglis Emanuel, he's impartial. So how do a, how do a people keep voting for the same uh, machine. The way that they vote for the machine is the city workers. The city workers must vote for a Democratic candidate. So in my community, this is the first chance that they've ever had to, first of all, I made history because I'm an ex-offender trying to prevent a next offender. But you wouldn't know that by the main street media. They're trying to keep that off the air. Second of all, I also made a history because I'm considered the shut up people. They, in our community, they come around with a large cup of shut up. Don't say nothing back to the machine. And I had the audacity, the nerve, even the courage, some would say, to step up and run against the machine without their permission. It even upset Bloomberg. Well, he had, well, I like to call him what they call him in Chicago, King Bloomberg, King of New York. He had to come out and he spent $2 million to appoint the Democratic nominee. Now, Bloomberg didn't want to do it, but because Ron Emanuel is the, uh, the emperor of Chicago, he had to do what they told him to do. Now we got all this violence. They're using the violence to say that they want a gun ban. But when is we going to have, Mr. President, when are we going to have a corruption ban in the city of Chicago? Why? Why do you think your community keeps voting in the same people over and over and over as long as they have a Democrat in front of their name. And aren't you running, for, are, is it Jesse Jackson Jr.'s seat that yeah. you were running for? Yes. Why would they keep doing this? What, what do you think is going to have to change in order for them to vote for someone that has a Republican in front of their name? Well, I, I'm curious. I don't know if they're more upset that I'm an ex-offender running without permission or am I a Republican running for, out for, for permission? Because they, I, I'm so rebellious against the system that has destroyed my community, I don't know which one of them more upset about. But I do know. Now are you talking? You're talking about the Republicans, though, right? They're not happy with you either. You're 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 messing up on both sides. Well, they have an agreement. Some of the Republicans uh, quietly are saying, "Don't upset the Democrats. You, you you don't don't mess with them. You you're you're angering them, and and we everything is all right. Uh, just keep everything cool. Uh, move to the center. You too far for uh, uh for Second Amendment. You too far for that. Move." to the middle uh, uh, why we're too far in the middle now and every time you move to the middle to the middle you find yourself over in there three weeks three weeks before before his election paul mckinley for congress.com is that right no, no. mckinley mckinley for congress 
www.thelandofmyfathers.com. If you want to do any donations, if you want to support this movement, I need your help. This is a movement. It's not just a candidate. And I'd like to thank God who's given me this golden opportunity to serve him and his people. Thank you very much.